should the TSA be prohibited from touching you or taking an x-ray image of your body? Or what about doing away with the government screeners and having private companies decide who can and who cannot get on your flight? With us from Phoenix, Arizona tonight is Republican Congressman Ron Paul of Texas. He's pushing his new American Traveler Dignity Act, which among other things tells the TSA, hands off. And in Washington, Fran Townsend is our CNN national security analyst who served as Homeland Security Advisor in the post-9-11 Bush White House. She also serves currently on the Homeland Security Advisory Board. Congressman Paul, to you first. Here's among the highlights of your new legislation. It would prohibit physical contact by the TSA. It would prohibit x-rays of somebody's body. It would pre prevent using the millimeter waves that are used in some of the high-tech scanners and prevent the government from taking images of an individual's body, even if covered by clothing. You view this as intrusive and abuse of government power. My question is, what about someone out there who says, what, sir, happens if we take away these tough new screenings and we have another 9-11. Well, taking away, you're implying that nothing else would happen. If you took, got the government out of it, you would put the responsibility on the airlines, and the airlines would still be very concerned. Matter of fact, they actually have a little bit more leeway because they can uh, uh, screen uh, their, their passengers a lot differently, and you can have agreements with the airlines. So you might have better screening uh, with private, but even contracting out to a private company, as long as they have the same obligation to pursue the same thing that TSA is doing, that won't do any good. That's just another uh, boondoggle for the private companies that are going to work with uh, with the government. It might be Chertoff that might get the contract to do the screening. No, you want the private owners. You can't provide perfect safety. This notion that the government's role is to provide safety, it isn't, is to protect our rights. But here, we're being told that we go to the gate, we buy a ticket, and you've lost your right, you sacrifice your right. Where did that come from? That's about the most absurd thing I ever heard. Well, and well, the American people aren't, aren't for this. They're, they're, they're they're tired of what they're seeing and, and what's happening at our, at our uh, airports. Well, Fran, you hear the congressman there. His political committee sent out an email today talking about these naked porno scanners that people are meant to go through at an airport. In the course of the day, I received other press releases. Senator Tom Udall, they, from the, he wants to have a hearing after Thanksgiving. The Homeland Security Committee chairman wants to have a hearing soon, says maybe the TSA should not have these powers. Now that this clearly has become a big political story in our nation, do you have concerns that politics might undermine security. Well, look, John, you know, this is a classic case where, you know, the government kind of fails the common sense test. They, they need to, we've seen the threat from Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. This is the group that was responsible, was behind the Detroit attempted bombing, the underpants bomber. Uh, this is the group that was behind the recent cartridges in the belly of the plane with, loaded with explosives. And so the threat's very real. And I think as we come into an increase, a time of increased travel, the government is rightly concerned. The question, though, is, there's, a, there's a couple of questions about how and why they're doing this. You know, the government has the authority to implement these security procedures, but they also have an obligation to be advocates and to explain to the American people why these are necessary, why there isn't a less intrusive means that they could use, and how this will protect us and keep us safer. And, and frankly, they haven't really done a very good job at that. But let's remember, the threat is very real, and so we want them to be successful at keeping explosives off planes, and we are rightly debating the government's policy about how they're trying to do that. Well, well, Congressman, let's come back to you then and, and where you would draw the line. And I want to show some pictures as we have the conversation. DenverPost.com put up some photos today. We're just showing some video of the intrusive searches, what people many consider. This is some Denver.com photos. Now, the government says this is absolutely necessary. You see the body scanners here, and you'll also see in the, as the photos go on some of the touching and the padding uh, that obviously you view, sir, as a violation of people's rights. I want you to listen here to the Homeland Security Secretary, Janet Napolitano. She says it's necessary, and it does not, in her view, cross the line. They uh, in no way resemble electronic uh, strip searches. All they do uh, is uh, ping uh, in a private area uh, away from the gate uh, with an image that is neither retained nor transmitted. Uh, we built privacy screens into the machines. And Congressman, the head of the TSA, John Pistol, says using these screenings, they've already come up with some things that, in his view, have kept dangerous things off the airplane. So if we went with your approach, how do we make sure that somebody doesn't get on a plane 
with something that, that can't well, be there? Well, well, so far, they haven't been sure. You know, before 9-11, the government was in charge. They spent $45 billion on, on intelligence gathering, and they got through anyway. And now we've given them $80 billion. So how can you expect the government to do any better? Now, for the secretary, I'd like to ask her, you know, has she gone through a scanner and looked at herself on a scanner? Has she been probed and prodded? Uh, and Fran, have you done it, too? I think everybody should. I think every Absolutely. member of Congress yeah. should Congress be scanned and, and they should... Did you look at your did you look at your image? I did not look at my image. Frankly, no, Congressman, okay. I don't look at your prefer, image. What somebody else is doing? I I'd much prefer that image. they have an image of me than that they touch me. And I'd like to understand what. Okay, the have you have you had the prod? I mean, some people have to be prodded. I mean, people so people are being forced to it. You haven't gone through the prodding sub process. Oh, I must certainly everybody have. Needs to. I, I want every Congress. member of Congress to do it and every member of the cabinet to do it. And they might have a different uh, a feeling about this. But the whole thing is, is we are dealing with 9-11. We're dealing with al-Qaeda. And that has to do with a major problem with our foreign policy. And if we don't understand why we are creating more people who want to hate us, believe me, taking away all our liberties won't solve our problem. Spending more money on, on, on intelligence gathering and also taking away more of our liberties and having Having 6,000 of our people killed over in the Middle East, every time we kill a civilian over there to the tune of tens of thousands, we make more enemies. Congressman, so it would be nice to know we, abusing, friend, me, we don't, try, we don't okay. solve our problems by abusing uh, the rights of American citizens. That's okay, what so, my so, thesis so, is. Because that, you heard the congressman, suffer. Yeah, the it, congressman it, makes his case passionately, friend. On this question, it, the, the debate over just what the powers are, what the screening should be, will continue, obviously, and we'll, the Congress will be dealing with this when it returns in January, without a doubt, if not right after Thanksgiving. But to the question of should the government do this or should it be contracted out? And, and to the degree of what other technology is out there, what's the question? What's the answer? I actually think it doesn't matter. If you can do it more efficiently by contracting it out, that's fine, but you have to set the standards. And, and quite frankly, it's easy for the congressman to criticize the government, whether it's this administration or a prior administration, but I don't hear any suggestions about how he would improve it, how if he had responsibility for protecting the American people, what exactly he would do to ensure their safety and security. Can I answer that? Sure. The airlines, the private owners, the private owners do it. Private owners have a better ability to do this than government bureaucrats. It just, it, it just doesn't work. That's the problem. Uh, it's, it's now a national conversation, and we will continue it. Congressman Ron Paul, appreciate your time tonight, Fran Townsend as well.